Hi. Um, <laughs> you can't even see me. Oh, okay. Part of what I lost was me being me without being apologetic for being me. And like I said, like I'm gonna start crying again. Like I'm not trying to be fake. Gosh, I'm not trying to be fake, and it's it's not that. Um, but that kind of I need to stop thinking about that. Like how like the people who know what's going on. I don't think anyone's going to think that I'm being fake or that, you know, they'll get offended about me being fake or whatever, I don't even know. Because people who know my situation right now get it, and I think they'll encourage me to find myself again and find my happiness again and find all of that. Um, but I still feel like I'm not being genuine to a certain degree, and I hate that. Um, but it's okay. I'm trying to like make excuses. I'm just trying to like um, give you disclaimers, I guess. Um, um, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I don't really have anything to say. I have no idea how this will go. It might be just literally me trying to like give myself pep talks and try to focus on the positive things of the day. Um, today. I drank a whole revived bottle of vitamin water. My voice was bad. Um, oh, a good thing about tomorrow, one iPhone, which is also a bad thing because I do not have $1,000. At the same time, I also don't have a phone. My phone died and I have this, my little brother's phone. So that's what's happening. Um, but, and also voice lessons, but that's tomorrow. And today, so I drank, I've been struggling. Yesterday, I. People almost don't believe me. I mean, really, kind of. Um, I was, yeah. But it's true. I was so, I, I've been in such a bad place and um, no one really knows except for my mom who's been there and has seen me go through everything. All the ups and downs and the crying and the anger and the happiness and it's not happiness, it's like acceptance, you know, which is better than happiness. Well, I don't know. Happiness comes from acceptance. Uh, whatever. I don't, that's not a thing. But happiness can come from acceptance. It can also come from other things. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I've not been, I've been crying and not drinking enough because I never drink enough. But also, I haven't been drinking enough because, because, um, I just literally have not been even drinking as much as I usually do. So the past two days, I drank, I think, one bottle of water, liquid, I should say, because I only drink water. When people say I need to drink more water, a lot of times they also drink other things, even though like coffee supposedly dehydrates you or it doesn't help. Um, but I drink nothing but water or juice. So today I drank this juice. It's sugar, bad, whatever, but at least it's some liquid. And I did feel better. And I do feel better. Yesterday I was driving. Um, to work and I'm not kidding I could not see I could not see at all like my vision was impaired from dehydration and I said this to someone to come to see me instead of me going to see them because um, because of this and I still don't know if they really believed me, but if they were in my shoes, like my muscles were achy, um, I felt feverish, um, kind of like today, 78, 84, I'm kidding. And I have like a turtleneck on, although I do have air conditioning right now. If I turn it off, it is hot. But in the office, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too cold, and yet I was freezing. I was cold. Um, so like I am super dehydrated and it was bad I really didn't I felt exhausted I've been exhausted like in my head also emotionally um, drained so I could not handle going and I'm thankful that you know they were nice enough to come over 
this way but um yeah so i today positive day yesterday positive thing this person came over I love how that sounds weird. I always felt, I, I think I've said this before, I feel weird to call people this person because it sounds like, oh, I'm not good enough to like be spoken as a human being. Like this person sounds so, <laughs> so inform, not informal, um, so great. So, mm, impersonal impersonal another thing my hydration is messing with my brain and my everything else so impersonal oh. um and like i just feel like it's insulting to people but at the same time i know that most people wouldn't really want to be talked about either um so yeah i don't know and I do like to make them gender neutral because that way it's really hard to tell who they are. Um, but anyways, unless they know who they are or someone that was also there. Or you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyways, so that yesterday, that was a good thing. Um, a hug was a good thing. Very good thing. Um, but just that they came over... <laughs> I've been driving so much in the past year and for someone I I don't even know the pleasure of someone literally coming over to my house um, to get me or to stay here either way it feels so amazingly good um, I'm gonna park here for the time being out of the sun maybe, potentially um, but yeah so and I don't mean to sound like needy or I don't know how that sounds like anyways um so so that was like an amazing thing both of those things what else I'll just leave it at that because that was yeah that's pretty much it one thing that I'm proud of that I did was learning to say less even though yesterday I said a lot um but I have learned to like let go of things that I feel like I need to say but maybe I've already said them so many times or maybe I just I'm starting to discern information is that how you use that word I'm starting to be more selective Ugh, that sounds bad but like figuring out what needs to be said and what I just want to say but will regret later and that sounds weird too that's not necessarily that I'll regret it it's just that um sometimes things left unsaid are still said in a way but just it's not the right time or maybe it's never the right time like I don't even know how to explain it it's just like to me the I, it might not make any sense to anyone else, but me knowing the situation, it's just... <sighs> My approach to it, at least, has been, I don't want to say this because... I'm focusing on things that aren't worth focusing on. That's kind of more the thing. So... I'm so on a personal level not what I received and what I got but on what I gave out into the world that was to me a great positive moment and accomplishment that I didn't that I held back stuff that I put other things above that I put people actually above my words <laughs> it sounds so weird oh my gosh sorry <laughs> um okay um that was embarrassing but anyway so yeah so that was yesterday today was um i actually got up early but i was late at work because i vlogged uh which you won't see personal vlogging um but yeah i, I um i got up early um and i was relatively fine to get up and 
I was finally going to work and I got to work and the whole day I've been in this very calm and put together, grounded, um, clear mind type of emotional state. Like I had good mental health today and that doesn't happen too often. And also I drank the water. I drank a whole bottle of vitamin water. I haven't drank anything since. I tried but I think I need to ease myself into it as otherwise it's like overload and I think my liver everything needs to be flushed out like easier um but I have more water and I'll drink more water now and um those are the maybe I'll start with two things or three things every day what I put out in the universe I put out positivity actually um I sent a message that I felt very positive about and it actually made me happy and it made me positive and when you put out negative it does you do feel negative and it gives you negative um, so yeah I, I, I really I liked myself today I liked who I was today I'm gonna cry again it's like emotional crying not sad crying um, so yeah I'm just like proud of myself for doing that too and um yeah let's see what else i'll do but that was today maybe i'll do like recaps of the day because this is already 30 minutes long or something but um yeah please subscribe please come on this journey with me um i don't know what this journey is also i'm working on this podcast and i hit a dent in it yesterday because this person did not want to do the podcast and I got so excited. I had this, I put this, so I got this mug yesterday or two days ago. Dream big. It's from Papyrus Bird and Quill. I work there, so we had this as discount end of summer discount thing. And uh, oh gosh, that hurts my that's a lot. That's a I don't have a big hand like that. Gosh, okay. And so I had all, everything put together in here. I have this. I made finally to work with this USB adapter. And then I have my loyal microphone that I use to sing. And then I have this like multi multi USB thing. And then a multi headphone thing. And extra headphones in case they didn't bring their own. Um, they're crappy headphones. I'm just saying. You know. Uh, I need to work on that, but I need to start with what I have. I did pay for the adapter, the three adapters, so that is a lot of money. That was under $50, but still a lot of money. I think under $50. I think it was like $30 altogether, but it was worth it. And I did my first vlog with my friend, and I really wanted to do this vlog with this person. Um, I have a, p a bunch of other people that I want to do it with. That's so not that way. Um... But yeah, and I, I'm, I'm still going to do this vlog with this person eventually, but yesterday did not work out, which I feel like that's also, that happens a lot in life, but it was just, again, at the right time. And um, yeah, I'm excited. At the same time, it's kind of bittersweet because I do feel, um, anyways, at the same time, um, you're so heating in 12 minutes. Um, at the same time, I do feel like... I hate being happy when it's a sad circumstance. That doesn't make sense. No, that's not what I want to say. I... I sometimes hate being happy. Does, does that sound right? I don't think that sounds right. I'm so tired. I'm like zoning out. I need to also take out my contacts to see how like bad my eye just like floats to that side. Is it floating right now? Because like if I stare, but with my contact, I think that's why I'm getting headaches because it's it's forcing it to like stay on track, and it's not doing that. <laughs> um, doesn't like it. But anyways, I was going to go down like a very serious hole, so I'm going to stop right there. I stop. I'm stopping prematurely. Wow. What am I saying? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. 
Anyways, but on the plus side, this is the arena that I'm trying to get back to. I mean, um, in my own way, I made some people unhappy because I just lost myself and I made myself unhappy, which is like the worst part, you know, because people come and go, even if they stay your whole life, at the end of the day, you are still alone with yourself 24-7 or more. I don't know exactly. Some people say, my grandfather actually said that time is decreasing or increasing or decreasing. Like our days are 24 hours, but fewer 24 hours which would make sense but anyways so yeah I always when I say that I always think of my song but anyways okay that's another thing that I'm trying to get back into I just needed a break I needed a break and I had my break and now I have no idea how long this will last I think I am dealing with a lot of like crossed wires in my head and a lot of like messed up wiring in my head and not to be solved by drugs because that's not there's unless there's like nanobots that rewire my head then we'll, we'll talk but I'm not trying to rewire with uh, I'm trying to rewire with just habits um there are habits that I need to pick up like drinking water I think that is like the most important habit number one habit because that's literally I need that literally to survive. I don't need money as much as I need water. Um, so the second one is getting more money and saving and, you know, keeping my credit score going up instead of going down. Um, but also having more fun. I can't, I think I said it so much already. I feel so bad to myself and to other people that I lost myself. I really became like an empty shell of myself and it's I don't want that to sound as bad as it could sound if that makes sense um I think the people that again the people that know I'm like a broken record might understand why I say that but um yeah I don't I don't mean it in a bad sense I don't know one it, <sighs> circumstances life happens and Unless you win the lottery, unless you win American Idol or whatever, even then you have stuff. And I kind of won the lottery in a way, a little bit, in some to some degree. But then I let it slip away. I didn't put in my side of the work in. For example, like I was in a play this past year and that was cool. But then that was it <laughs> that was all that i did this year um I, I also worked on this movie i helped behind the scenes but you know like i let things that were just on the rise just fall hard on the ground and um i let myself fall too and i know i was struggling i said in may i was struggling trying to find myself again and pick myself up again and um i was just scattering around trying to balance everything and i had good things but they were trying they were hard to balance and I didn't know how to balance myself when they say it's such a cliche like you need to be really solid with yourself you need to work on yourself you know, on your mental health on your physical health and then you go out into the world but also once you go out into the world you need to also know this is my thing and this is what my psychologist also told me is there will be a period of adjustment too and you, you just because you did all your homework doesn't mean that you'll go into the world and you'll ease it um but it does help and i don't really do that much homework <laughs> i do like the spark notes worth of homework um i'm just like go all over the place right now with that advice and that like life lesson but i just remember i think in may maybe june or something um, I remember thinking and saying to my therapist that I don't know how to find time for myself. I know I should, and I really want to, but the things that were in my life were also so excited, and I didn't want to sacrifice them for time for myself, and I knew that was bad, I just didn't know how to be selfish 
or self full is my other therapist's word. Yes, I have two therapists. I don't have two therapists, but I have seen two therapists. Um, but yeah, so um, I don't know how that works. I really don't know, but I'm scared because I don't. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess that's the journey, trying to figure out how to stay me, find myself again and stay me. And um, maybe that will help figure things out for whoever is watching this too. I don't know. Either way, I'm actually not really doing... For the first time, so when I started this vlog, I started it for myself. And then it turned into people. And uh, that's when it got a little too overwhelming for me. It turned for like, oh, I have this platform. I want to grow it and I want to like change the world. That's me. But... It got too much pressure and I didn't know how there's just endless ways to do that and I, for me like not physically able to do endless things but you know the possibilities were just overwhelming to me and that's when I crashed it was just too much pressure so I'm back to doing this for me so if you don't like this you don't like it that's fine I, there's so many vloggers and there's so much content on YouTube no one's going to care you're not going to care that you don't like me i'm not going to care that you don't like me at the end of the day there's so many people in this world and on youtube doing things that like i'm just nobody but in a good sense in a sense of like raw kind of seeds <laughs> i don't know that's weird not seeds ew that that's mm, oh that whole phobia thing uh, that just came into my head but we're all you know um leaves there you go grass stuff um so yeah um but yeah like i don't really want you to care is more what i i want to say it's not that i don't care i would love you to care um but it's not for you and that's okay because what you're doing, it's it's not supposed to be for me or for anyone else either. It's supposed to be for you. So it's okay if you don't like this or it might sound pointless or you're like, I don't even know what arena. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, I'm just trying to say I'm excited to focus again on doing things for me instead of pleasing other people that sounds bad that's not what i mean you know like but at the same time it's ironic because when you're pleasing to yourself <laughs> oh god you know when anyways that um i just made it sound worse and more sexual when yeah when you when you are better and you make yourself happier then you are easy it's easier for for you to make other people happy and so I'm refocusing from like oh I'm looking outwards and like how do I make you happy to how do I make myself happy and I know that someone's saying I told you so because they've told me so so many things so much lately from the moment I met them <laughs> but um yeah well I mean yeah like I said it'd be I also killed a bee yesterday. I killed it by proxy. I think that's how you say it. I didn't kill it myself, but someone else did. But I was backing them up. I actually told them to, which is maybe worse. <laughs> and that, you know, that's another good thing. Like, but that's not a good thing about me. But I'm, I was happy that they did not stomp on it instantly, like other people would have. So, plus, um, but yeah. That bee was relentless, though. Dude, gosh. Well, they were just that scrumptious. Anyways, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, that was so weird. It was so weird. Anyways, okay. So, me, the bee, rest in peace. I really felt bad. It was like, um, they hit it and it was like struggling on the ground. And I felt so bad. My heart was breaking. My heart was breaking for this bee, which I don't like bees. I'm scared of bees. I, I love them, actually. I just am scared of them. So it broke my heart. But at the same time, I'm like, 
you better kill that bee because that bee is going to I don't know what also at the same time I'm scared of killing bees because some bees you kill one and then a bunch of other ones I like, get signaled and come over so it's like mm hmm should we stay here longer <laughs> but anyways okay I am going to go and I'm gonna work on my podcast and see who's next and edit this and you're running out of battery and yeah cool thank you for brightening brightening my day for my ride home from work thank you i hope i get to brighten your day a little bit with my energy and my goal and journey to more positive thinking rewiring yeah and other stuff Oh, I usually say like peace, love, and compassion, y'all. Nyang ki kaseo, nyang ki kaseo, tsai jen. Bye bye, pe gurun pa matane jane. Ah, sayonara. No, no, sayonara. Uh uh uh. No. Jane, jane, jane. Yep. Hmm. I can't believe that came right out. Bye. Wie